Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Backyard Baseball World Series for the fourth season in a row. Yes, we made it all the way to the end, and now we've just got five games left to decide who's going to be the winner. Although, that's five at the maximum. If we, whoever gets free wins first will be crowned the undisputed champions of season four, and that's going to be us. I, at this point, the worst is over with. I took a look at the team in advance, just at the players, and none of them seem all that bad. I'm very surprised that, uh, who are we even playing again? Oh yeah, the Colorado Rockies. Very surprised that they were the ones to make it to the World Series, because they've got like maybe one or two good players from the looks of it, but most of them are just not great. And considering how stacked the Diamondbacks were, I'm really surprised the Rockies beat them 2-0. But, I don't know. Who, who, who? I'm, just, I'm glad that we're in the that's the case, because at this point, it should be a pretty easy cruise into victory, unless we got some shenanigans going on, or if I miscalculated. I also have been uh, keeping an eye on the Backyard Baseball Discord, and I've, I've picked up some new tricks that we might try today. It should be interesting. We, we might be, end up getting a higher score than usual, but here we go. It's been a long road with this new team. <laughs> let's see if Kimmy can get a home run, if Angela can keep up the Jedi powers, and let's move on to the stat fluctuation. All right, we're back in the Super Colossal Dome. Let's see what my character's stats are like. Pablo is feeling fine. Kenny's good. Charlie Brown's good. Pete's just fine. Angela's fine. Kimmy is fine. Reese is good. Marky's got a slight fielding decrease. We can work with that. And Annie has a slight fielding increase. All right, all right. I'll take it. Basically, everybody is average today. Well, I think we're keeping the Pete, Kenny, Angela, Pablo train going. I like Reese after that. Charlie Brown, Kimmy. Yeah, I like, I like this order. It minimizes double plays and maximizes points, so... Hmm. Fantastic. That's exactly what we're going for today. I don't know, but let's see what their roster is like. So they have Petra Chekhov. She's scary. She's got a huge amount of batting power, but she stinks at everything else. So as long as she don't get a home run, she's pretty chill. Terry Vega. He's fine. Not great. Maya Woodruff. So she's one of the great players. Really good batting and solid fielder as well. Karen Donato. She's all right. Uh, Randy Uno, not fantastic. She's only a four at pitching, and she's the star pitcher. What? I'm sorry. I'm keeping my eye out if anybody's higher than a four at pitching. Yeah, Marcidius Marks is the main scary one, but he's got a couple decreases today. So, oof. I think he's got a good arm, though, so that might be a great choice for the catcher. Andrus Isbin, like, why is he in the World Series? He's not good. Billie Jean Blackwood is also not good. Like, her bat is pretty bad. And then they got Larry Walker in the outfield. And Larry's pretty solid. So they got Larry, they got Marcellius, and they've got uh, Maya and maybe Petra. But the rest of their team's not very good. What? How did they get to the World Series? I mean, even comparing them to my team, we've got some really stacked players. Like Pablo, Pete, Angela, they're all really good. Kenny, Annie... Reese, they're solid, and the Marky, Charlie Brown, and Kimmy are admittedly not great. But still, like, I'm also a human, so humans generally play better than AI. I don't... Ugh. I don't know. But there we go. Yeah, it's the Rockies and the Bombers World Series. I don't, I don't want to go in too confident, but given how that we've come this far and that their team is noticeably a lot worse than the Rangers were... I'm not too worried. Let's get things off to a start. Well, fans, it doesn't get any bigger than this. Here we are at the first game of the Backyard World Series. Hiya, folks. Welcome to Backyard Baseball. I'm Sunny Day, along with my broadcast partner, Vinny the Gooch. Folks, we're going to bring you the best in baseball today. Home runs, triple plays, strikeouts, live action from some of the hottest players in the league this season. The best in baseball. Boy, you're sure enthusiastic today. I had a good breakfast. Going head to head in today's game are the Colorado Rockies and the Crazy Bombers. Going into the final round, everyone's looking at that backyard World Series title. But only one team will make it all the way. And now, kids, it's time for some action. Come on, fans. Give it up one time for the roughest, toughest team in the BBL, the Bombers. Rah, rah, bombers! Rah, rah, bombers! Super Colossal Dome. This is a fun field. It's pretty big, 
but not too bad. No real gimmicks. It's just fun, and you get to hit it out of the park, which <laughs> out of the stadium, which is amazing. Yeah, Colorado Rockies. I don't care if you got that trademark. You're nothing, nothing compared to us. We got this in the bag. All right, World Series is upon us. I am very confident that we've got this in the bag. Let's see if we can get a free to zero victory and take it home without them scoring a single point, or at least without them getting a game win. Let's play ball! All right, we're starting off with Karen. In the great plot twist, Karen Donato is the manager of their baseball team. All right, she got a nice solid grounder. Marky, you're supposed to be on the base. Marky, you're supposed to stay on the base. <laughs> Chucks! Doggone! <laughs> hey, it's Larry! All right, Larry. Let's see what you got. All right, they got a single right to begin with, so maybe their team's better than I gave them credit for. Of course, it wouldn't have been a single if Marky had stayed on the base. All right, cool. Charlie Brown, you almost flubbed it, but never mind. You, you got it. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Not Marcellus Marks. Marcellus Marks. Marcellus Marks. He's the best player on their team, bar none. Because look at that speed. Marky, you got to stay on the base, buddy. Oh, you made a big mistake! You made a big mistake! <laughs> oh, man. Shut him down, and we get a double play in the very first inning half. That's why you don't get greedy with the steals, bruh. I like how Angela's mom has, like, a front row seat to the stadium, as well as Ricky's dad. I'm gonna hit a touchdown. We got a crazy bunch already? Wow. That's fantastic. Oh, uh, nope, not swinging. Pete really needs to get some glasses so he can see a little bit better. That's one of his only downsides. That's a foul. All right, right past Randy. All right, they got a decent arm, but Pete got on first regardless. There we go. Let's run Pete. Alright, Kenny didn't get on first, but Pete's on third, so I take that as a win. <laughs> no, it's fine. We're saving the crazy bunt for someone who really needs it, like, say, Du Bois. Alright, one thing I've learned is try to hold out for the outside pitches. So, like, I'm not going to swing at that, even though it's a strike. We're allowed two strikes uh, with no real penalty, so let's see if we can get an outside power hit. It also has the it also has the benefit of tiring out the pitcher a little more because it may, means they've got to throw more. Got to swing. All right. Well, Pete scored. At least that's one point. Of course, Angela doesn't get a point, but oh well. All right, Pablo. Again, once again, let's wait for that outside pitch that you love so much. And there it is. Oh, wait, that was way far outside. Shouldn't have swung. Alright, well, Vinny, I, I, I could do without the attitude, I gotta say. Here we go. Pablo, that was money! <laughs> Pablo's power right there. Oh, man, Marcellus Marks doesn't even have that much of an arm. Oh, this is fantastic. It's Reese! We could crazy bunt with Reese, but Reese is actually a pretty competent batter himself. So, I think we're actually going to line drive with Reese. And then, if Charlie Brown is up next, we can crazy bunt with him. Reese, I think, is going to need a line drive to get to first. But he's got some power behind him. Not swinging. What?! Nuh-uh! <laughs> <laughs> so much for ScumVM fixing the, uh, the, the pitching glitches. <laughs> Alright, Petra, Maya, and Billie Jean Blackwood, y'all. 
All right, let's see if Petra's going to get the victory today. All right, Petra, how about a right hook? Right down inside. Let's see you pit this. No, you didn't even try. Okay, I don't want to gas out Angela too badly. Okay, well, that happened. Get it, Pete? Well, I mean, it hit the Jumbotron, so at least it wasn't a home run. Nope, sorry, Maya, you can't get greedy like that. <laughs> Savage, Vinny. Oh, man, I think this might be our first time seeing Billie Jean in season play, because she's just not very good. Look at that, how big her strike zone is, too. Time for crazy legs! Oh, that's an out. <laughs> Unless Marky's like, I'm not getting out, my girlfriend! Never mind, no, he did. <laughs> Mark don't care! <laughs> Mark don't care at all! <laughs> Teams before girls, that's how it goes, right? Alright, Charlie Brown. <laughs> I'm swinging at that. I want to hit it closed outside. This is the best for power. Okay, that should be an easy out. But it wasn't. Good job, Charlie Brown. And unless I'm mistaken, it's now time for... Yep. Here she is. That's not a good thing, though, Vinny. All right. Kimmy, let's see you hit the line drive. Okay, no. Charlie Brown's not stealing second. <laughs> it's not that fast. <laughs> I guarantee there's already two people just hovering over the ah button. Darn, that was good. I just went a little too late there. Here we go. I am too! Because Kimmy never gets on base! Darn. Yeah, that was me. I swung too early. If I'd swung just a hair later, I think that would have been a great hit. Please keep pitching hits outside. I would appreciate it. All right, come on, Kimmy. Think of the Twinkies. <laughs> Randy, you're already 32 pitches in, and it's only the second inning. This uh, this might be a bit of a problem. Full count on Kimmy. You want to walk her? If you walk her, I will crazy bunt with Annie. This, this is the Kimmy Ekman standard. She just, she fouls it, doesn't make contact, or hits it, like, straight up. Got to swing. <laughs> what was that? That table was, that table was like a fushiki right there. <laughs> there we, there, yep, see, Kimmy special. If she actually can make contact and not foul it, it just goes straight up. It's like Tony. <laughs> I thought I left Tony behind last season. He, he keeps haunting me. All right, let's see if we can do what we tried to do last time, but with Annie. Not swinging at that. Cherry Brown's like, you keep telling me to steal and then canceling it. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. Charlie Brown is just wearing himself out by constantly being like, No, cancel the steal! <laughs> no, Charlie Brown, cancel the steal! <laughs> I already started running. Good grief. <laughs> Alright. Come on, now. Surely that's not going to be a strike. Good. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just really enjoying tiring Randy Uno out. This is great. Here we go. Ooh! Over her head? Oh, that's bad. Well, that's really bad. Shoot. Didn't expect that, did ya? Charlie Brown's like, You told me to steal! <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna nominate Kimmy Ekman for worst player in the game, maybe? It's her or Gretchen. They're both awful. 
I will also say Gretchen's the worst. At least Kimmy makes a great catcher. Kenny, you, you missed it. I don't think Randy's batting power is very good. Okay, she's a 7 at batting, but if memory serves, she's not really powerful. It's just contact. And she's going to be slow, and the guy on first is slow. Okay, that was more power than I was expecting. Wow. Can hey, can we can we not have every single person in the outfield right now? What was that? Half my team was in center field. I'm sorry, what was his last name? Andre Sipson? That's what it sounded like. Yikes. Oh yeah! Hang on, I totally forgot that they got a power-up. I should not have done that. That's actually really dumb of me. Also, we only have one strikeout? Ow! I need my juice! Charlie Brown, if you flub this, move towards the ball, Charlie... Charlie Brown! Great, it's Reese who has no arm and Kimmy left base. Like a twerp! <laughs> Did Vinny just put the blame on the umpire for doing nothing there? No, that was my team being colossally stupid. Why Why does Charlie Brown, Reese, and Pete have no arms? Like, Reese, I get. Charlie Brown, not really. Pete Wheeler has arm strength, but he's just choosing not to use it. This is very annoying. And we are gassed and we can't get a juice box. This is great. Pop. Oh my gosh, my guys are stupid! They're not doing anything! My guys keep just letting the ball go past! That's like the fifth time it's happened! I'm hoping they wasted their special bat because there's no reason they shouldn't use it now. It wasn't even a crazy bunt. Okay, Angela, throw it to Kimmy. Booyah! Double play. Excellent. Great teamwork. Okay, this could be scary. Well, that's a good thing we're not pitching it then! Yikes! That's... that's tough. Nope! No home for you! You're an orphan now. No home for you. Alright. <laughs> well, this got interesting. Alright, we got the screaming line drive and a crazy bunt. I'm just gonna... You know what? I might just let Marky get struck out. I might just do that, because he's kind of a liability. Let's see how many pitches Randy's gonna get. Let's, let's just see that. Not swinging. Nuh-uh. Right because Marky is Marky's slow and Pete's next. I don't want Marky to slow Pete down. That was actually a really solid hit there, Marky. That was actually a very solid hit. <laughs> Barely made it in time, though. <laughs> Okay, guys. Let's... I'm gonna hit the screaming line drive with Pete. May, might be a mistake, because Pete can follow it very easily. Crazy Bunt? Crazy Bunt? Marky's too slow for the Crazy Bunt. If Marky wasn't on first, then maybe I would. But I think with a screaming line drive, we might get a home run. Because Pete can get that power. Oh! That was almost... <gasps> okay, Marky does fine. Whatever. Whatever. Marky gets out. No nobody is crying about that. Nobody. Woo! 
Ooh, another Screaming Nine Drive! I don't think we need it with Ganny, though. I don't think we need it. Wow. Kenny's eyesight is perfect. What? Um. What? What was Billy Jean doing there? <laughs> Billy Jean, um. It, it looked like Kenny Kawaguchi ran over Billy Jean's foot with his wheelchair and she was just like. Oh, the pain! She was doing, like, a, a Smash Bros. taunt pose for, like, five seconds, and it let Pete get home. <laughs> Great, right to Billie Jean. Or, sorry, right to Larry. Billie Jean seems like she catches everything, so that's pretty good. Oh, good, Angela got some juice back. Let's see if we can get more strikeouts. The problem is, when you run out of juice, it makes it harder to get strikeouts, which means you don't get juice, which means your juice just stays low. <laughs> Yikes. Come on! Right hook! What?! No, that makes sense. Marky just loves insulting people by unfavorably comparing them to his grandma. Sorry, Petra. Both of our strikeouts have been from Petra. No juice! I want my Capri Sun! Hey, Reese, get that. Darn it! Oh, okay. Surely this should just be an easy out, right? Hey, Billy Jean. Just like Billy Jean. Charlie. Oh my gosh, Charlie Brown is so stupid! And why does Pete have no arm today? He didn't have any fielding decreases. That is like the eighth time this game Charlie Brown has been like, I'm not going to catch the ball. He ran past the ball and I couldn't make him run back. Well, maybe we can get another double play. Their characters are all kind of slow, outside of most serious marks. I'm a little hesitant for, to let Terry Vega just get a good hit because of that. Because of that. Okay, it wasn't a home run, though. Pete, you're supposed to have power. Why does Pete have no arm strength today? You know, maybe it's about time for the ump to visit the eye doctor. And and Vinny is blaming it on the ump again. Okay, no, I'm sick. I'm sick of this. Time out. Pete, you are out of center field. Reese has no stamina for some weird reason. Okay. This next one's a Right, Why did- where did Reese's stamina go? He's only been up at bat once! And he hasn't done anything beyond that. Big mistake, Billie Jean. Big mistake. I mean, they're keeping the game tied, but... Oh, and of course Reese is up at bat next when he randomly has no end. Reese must be, like, have exceptionally high asthma today or something, because he hasn't done anything! He's, like, thrown the ball twice, and... Oh, he ran into the outfield one time, but that was ages ago. That also works. That's gonna hit the Jumbotron, probably. Nope! Karen catches it. Well, great. The problem is, I don't really have any reason to use my special bats, because I never have enough people on base to make them worthwhile. That's what I'm saying. Pete's fielding stats are good, but for some reason, he's just so bad today, even though he has no decreases. I mean, this should just be an instant out for Reese. Because Reese is literally dying. Look at that! What? Reese, did you break both your legs before this game or something? We're hitting power with Charlie Brown. 
We're hitting power with Charlie Brown. Come on, get it outside. Charlie Brown has gotten a home run before on Ekman Acres, which is about the same size of field. I'm not swinging at that. How is Randy 60 pitches in and not tired or off the mound? That's not a home run. That's right to Larry. But Larry fumbled it. Good job, Charlie Brown. Way to get on first. All right. We will be using the screaming line drive with Kimmy. Because who knows? Maybe she'll get the home run. Maybe she'll get a home run. That would be pretty awesome, Kimmy. If you foul it, though. Boom! What? So we just broke Billy Jean's hand. Joey Brown, get to third, please. We're not going home. Okay, that's good enough. Here we go. Here we go. Crazy bus, crazy bus, riding on a crazy bus. Really? Kimmy, go home. Kimmy, go home. Oh my gosh, Kimmy is so slow. Annie, go home at two. <gasps> no! <laughs> Come on! That was so close, though. Well, we got two points at least. All right. It, Ipsen, Sipsen, I don't know. Can we get a juice box? I'm so thirsty. Reese will die if he doesn't drink some lemonade soon. All right, come on. Get a strikeout. Give us a juice box. I need the juice. I need, like, a six-pack because, like, half my team is tired for no reason. I mean, it makes sense that Angela's tired. It does not make sense that Reese is tired. And it doesn't make sense that Kimmy is so tired either. There we go. Please. Please give me the Kool-Aid. I need it. I want it. I need it. No! I don't want special pitches! I want juice! <laughs> I want Peptoro the Strong Van's secret power shake! Considering how Reese has asthma, he's probably still there. Wow. Cool. Strikeout for, from Karen. Nice. They actually just really don't want us to get another double play. Alright. Daggum! Larry up next! Juice box, please. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. It does exist. You're bunting? I guess you are pretty fast, but Angela's back at top uh, top speed! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Alright, this should be our last at-bat, so let's make it count. Alright, Marky. Hey, you're one for one today. You got a pretty solid hit last time. No more. We only got one crazy bunt. Well, that's not very great. I'm not swinging. Why is it when Market gets up to bat, they only pitch rat hooks? He can't hit those. <laughs> okay. Wow, there's a left hook. <laughs> See if I care about the difference. <laughs> Market needs the heat. That was stupid. Why the heck did I swing at that? Doggone. Gotta charge up. Okay, we're not swinging at that one. That's hitting the dirt. Literally. Come on, Marky. Giddy up. Alright, Marky, it's time to pony up. Full count. No pressure. Just get that solid hit and get on first base with your sweetheart. I'm not swinging at that. Wild pitch! Marcus just gets to go hold hands with his girlfriend. <laughs> Hee-haw! Wait, why is she not even on first? <laughs> she don't want to be on first because Marcus off? Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> you can't handle the power. <laughs> Actually, what they really want is they want Marky to slow Pete down. 
she has 72 pitches in a row, and she's still on the mound. How? Alright. Zwink! Even with the head start, Marky still can't get the second. Doggone it! <laughs> See, that's what I... There we go. With Pete's help, he can get on first. There we go. We bumped up his batting average by a tiny bit. <laughs> Angela with a .176. Angela, you're supposed to be a stacked power hitter. You're full energy today, right now, Angela, so... Does Randy Uno just have unlimited stamina like Clanky or something? How is she this many pitches in? It confounds the mind! That was a very strange trajectory. What in the world? That was dumb. That was outside. Well, actually, no. They may have called that a strike. All right, it's up for it's up to Pablo. <laughs> Listen to the crowd. <laughs> Listen to that. Listen to those screams. They all know who they're rooting for. They're rooting for the secret weapon. Let's go, Pablo. Let's go, Pablo. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. <laughs> And I do believe that's game. Best baseball player ever. Doggone it. That is the most epic mariachi music ever. I get chills every time that song plays. All right, Reese, do you have your energy back? I'm not even going to time out to check. It'll just be a fun little surprise. It'll just be a fun little surprise. If he's back to full energy, he might get on first. If he's not... Billy Jean as your pitcher. Excuse me. Billy Jean is a four at pitching. I mean, actually, she might be the best. Why is Marsolius Marks not the pitcher? Oh, and great. Reese has no energy. Reese has no energy, so this is GG. This is GG unless they walk him. I knew I shouldn't have... I knew I shouldn't have ran that marathon yesterday. They only put Billy Jean on to pitch the big freeze. Look at how slow this game. Doesn't even matter. They they just they knew. They just knew we were gonna hit it to the left. And that's gonna end the inning. ahead up by five. I was timing out because I thought Billy Jean sucked at pitching, and I was right. All right. Well, this this should be an easy finish. I like this kid's batting stance. Strong, but not too flashy. He's like literally the best player on their team. Maybe, maybe they didn't. Maybe they don't want him on the pitch as the pitcher because they don't want to gas him. But like, there's one inning left. Come on. Come on, Annie. There we go. Thank goodness Annie was there because Charlie Brown would have just been like, "What?" and let it go through. Oh, it's Petra! It's time for another strikeout, guys. <laughs> what? Uh... I guess Petra got the victory there, huh? <laughs> She's like, I'm sick of you striking me out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. Good for them. Their team's, their team's doing better than I thought. Seems doing a lot better than I thought. Petra got that power, you know. Good job, Petra. I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll give her a hand for that. That was good. That was very well done. Maya Woodruff. 
All right. <laughs> Maya? From the wind up, it's on the way. The wing. <laughs> Ruh-roh! Take the stretch, it's on the way. The wing. I I am I don't want to pitch the big freeze because if they hit it and get a special bat, guys, they could still have their special bat. Imagine if they were playing the long con. Okay, Pete, you are you are zero for like five today at catching. This is embarrassing. All right. Cheese, my Billie Jean. Or however that song goes, I don't remember. I think, I think Billie Jean's one of those characters who can't really hit at the bottom of the strike zone, so... Never mind, she can. Just not well. Oh my god! Good job, Charlie Brown. I was gonna say, why is it whenever we need to get them out, they always are like, Oh, I can't throw all of a sudden. Oh, no. Terry. <gasps> Are you okay? <laughs> we gotta stop this before Terry can kick butt far away! Yikes. I'm not throwing the big freeze. That would get. Stop hitting it, Terry! <laughs> Power dunk! Okay, Charlie Brown, don't move. Darn, if I was a little faster on it. Okay, Kenny, that was just uncalled for. Are you... Ladies and gentlemen, the Dunce Patrol. What the heck was that? Well, that's game. <laughs> Didn't matter in the long run. It, they were just adding some hilarity to the end of the game, I suppose. Well, okay, their team is better than I gave them credit for. And the Bombers win the game! 7-4. These kids have really earned this victory. They played their hearts out and then some. They can all go home proud of their performances today. Until next time, for Vinny the Gooch, this is Sunny Day. So long, sports fans! I just realized, if we hadn't gotten those two special bats, we may not have won. <laughs> Actually, no, Pablo got a free run home run. Never mind. Yes, we would have. <laughs> well... Hey, the World Series is going to be more interesting than I thought. I thought it was just going to be a slaughter, but no, it's not. That actually... All right, then. So, 1-7-4, to four, but we got two more games ahead of us, and depending on how the staff fluctuation goes, their team actually it could be more formidable than I gave them credit for, but they're still a lot easier than the last team, so... All right, Kimmy, can you hit a home run before the season ends? Like, one? <laughs> nope! <laughs> Great. Real proud of you, Kimmy. Great job. Mar Marky, you were, actually, you were actually pretty good today, buddy. <laughs> oh, for shucks, Coach Fakes. I mean, you, you you weren't amazing, but, like, you were pretty good. Well, I, guess I'll, I guess I'll take it. Pablo, you, you, you helped us out a lot. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're fantastic. Reese, before next game, um, maybe consider taking, like, a Flintstones vitamin, because, good lord, you threw the ball one time and you lost all your energy. What happened? Were you were you playing advanced DDR the night before the game? Is that is that where all your strength went? I don't, I don't know, but it, that better not happen again. 